The Kim Commando Show presents brand new... Just what I always wanted. Or not true. You're a liar. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Hey, it's time now for America's national radio game show sensation where you can play at home along with our special celebrity guest contestants. Are you ready, Andrew? It's time to play brand new or not true. I am going to win this week. Uh-huh. Kim, I have a question for you. Do you know who Joel Com is? Joel Com? Yes. No. He is the inventor of the iFart app. Now, I know that sounds <laughs> stupid and disgusting, but he made $600,000 with that app. How come we didn't think of that? Now, if it wasn't for people like Joel Com and his iFart app, we wouldn't have the dumb inventions that we use in Brand New and Not True. Every single week, we give three product descriptions. Two are absolutely lies and one is true and our special guest contestant has to narrow it down which has been really easy lately and figure out which <laughs> one is the truth joining us from uh, talk 995 he does middays 11 to 2 streaming at talk 995.com it's richard dixon I am so ready to lose this contest. Yes. I can hardly wait. <laughs> I am ready for you to lose, too. Now, I was reading your bio before the show, and this may be dangerous. Uh, you are in uh, two bands, correct? They, uh, I am. The Mail Order Mystics and the Cash Domino Killers. That is correct, yes. And sir. we are done with Kim Commando singing around the office. No. So I was wondering, you want to recruit her as your lead singer? She well, you know, uh, uh, Kim, Kim can sit in with us anytime she wants. Kim gives all beautiful people hope that they can somehow make it on the radio. <laughs> Sucking up isn't going to help you get this answer correct, my friend. Are you Probably ready? not. Are you ready to go? See that? I have a job. This radio thing doesn't pan out for me. I'm going to Birmingham, and I'm going to be in a band. <laughs> nice. Bring it. Bring it, sister. Product number one is the short-sighted camera from Salad Day. We've all taken photos of our family that come out wrong. They, uh, they're blurry or there's a red eye or instead of the picture of your family, it's actually a picture of the family from down the street. Not happen to you? Let me explain. The short-sighted camera is a social media camera that takes a picture, but instead of showing you the image, it captures the image and then does a Google search and displays a similar image instead. You take a picture of the Grand Canyon, it may show you a picture of another wonder of the world, maybe like Mount Everest. Now you're learning about the world instead of just taking a picture. Uh, you take a picture of an old building, it may show you instead of that building, mm -hmm. that building 50 years ago. So now you're learning the history of where That's you are. That's a good idea. And it's real cheap too, only 35 bucks. Product number two, the Toy Box Bot, brought to you by Toy Box Bot Incorporated. We've all seen the robots that can vacuum the floors, mop up the floors, mow the lawn, but isn't there something they can do for us parents that avoids us from stepping on those stupid Legos in the middle of the night when we're trying to go to the bathroom? Well, the Toy Box Bot is a fully automated toy collecting robot that goes around the child's room collecting all the toys that they're done with and stores them in a built-in toy box. I know what you're thinking. If this thing's gonna travel around the room, isn't it gonna pick up the toys and the garbage? Yes, I guarantee you that will happen. <laughs> Unless you're, you know, the parents of Oscar the Grouch or that dirty kid from the Charlie Brown comics, this will not be an issue. There's no way for the toy box bot to tell the difference between a Hot Wheels car or half a Hot Pocket, some barbed wire or a Barbie doll. It just scoops up everything that's in its path. Throws it in there. And stores it in one single disgusting Ch toy box. Cheerios. Here's the even better news. is It's expensive. $199. Wow. Product number three. The Walktricity Shoe by LA Tech. Phone debt? Well, then just reach in your bag and grab your portable charger. You forgot your charger? Then take a hike and start charging your phone. Introducing the world's first device that charges while you walk. The shoe creates its own power. The Walktricity shoe looks like your average running shoe, except it has a USB plug on the inside of the left shoe. But there's no need to charge the shoe because it creates its own power. The shoe's internal generator cre uh, creates and stores 
power as you walk. With every step, it creates and generates a piezoelectronic charge. Ooh. And if I can barely pronounce it, it has to be real. That was a big word there. Thank you. 10,000 steps equal one full phone charge. There's also a small compartment on the right shoe to store your four inch USB charging cable. The top of the shoe has a Velcro strap on it to hold the phone down so you can charge as you walk, which is crazy. I haven't needed Velcro on my shoes since my early 30s. The cost, 159 bucks. Whoa, Richard, this is tough. Mm. I gotta tell you something. I, uh, I, I'm a father and I at one time had a small child and now I have a small grandchild. And uh, that whole toy thing sounds awesome. I would love that. I wish that was real. There is no chance on right. God's green earth that that is real. I've eliminated it. You know, they say there's uh, there's like two kinds of pain. There's pain and there's stepping on Lego pain. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I really wish that that was true, but I don't think it is. The first one sounds just stupid enough to be true. The one where you take a picture and it gives you a picture of something that is not what you took. Because if there's one thing we in technology truly appreciate, it's something we don't need. And that's something we do not absolutely need. So I'm inclined to believe, um, look, all my friends, and I'm serious about this, uh, all my friends talk about how many steps they made today. How many steps did you do? Oh, I did like 6,000. Oh, I did 8,000. I have a friend who actually shakes her phone before she goes to sleep to get the number of steps in. There's something horribly wrong with that because that's, you're not really exercising. You're just getting the number on your phone at that point, right? Um, I think I think the shoe thing. I, I want to say the shoe thing. So you're reason. saying number three is true. You sure? Final that's, answer? Can I phone a friend? No, that's my final answer. Let's go to the judges. Richard is wrong. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh Richard. Oh Did man. Did you see me? I was holding up. I wasn't holding up three fingers or two. I was holding up. The short-sighted camera is the social media camera that takes a picture, but instead of showing you the image of what you take, you captured, it searches Google to find another picture. Richard. <sighs> Richard. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm, I'm going to go invent the shoe thing now because it's going to sell it. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> He's well, Richard. I, I were you guys in cahoots? No, he got it right. You got it. We weren't in cahoots. Were I mean, we? I was just sitting here going like this. Don't tell him the answers. I didn't. I, 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 I could not see. I could not see your hand, and I've never been in cahoots. Cahoots, Ohio. I've never been. <laughs> well, Richard, thanks for playing along with us. Better luck next time. But you will, for your participation, get a fabulous prize: a Kim Commando Show swag bag. He gets a prize for losing. Why not? I'll take it. You know why? I not? won. I get nothing. You get to stay employed. Oh, great, thanks. More I'm, abuse each and every week. I mean, how long have you worked here now? Only 15 years. And you're still an intern. I can't wait to get hired. Maybe Richard needs more people in his band. <laughs> Richard, thanks again for playing along with us. Thanks, Kim, a pleasure as always. You got it.